All right, guys. Hurricane Hillary. There's a hurricane that might be hitting the USA, specifically where I live, guys. So I'm pretty scared. Let's check this out. Covering news where you live. This is Five News at Five. We're going to start with Hurricane Hillary. The storm growing rapidly to Category Four off Mexico's Pacific coast. Hey bro, it's already hitting Mexico, guys. They say it might hit uh, the USA by Sunday, guys. Currently, it is like Sunday, I mean, uh, Saturday morning, guys. It's expected to track across South California cities like LA that rarely see these types. I live like more towards the mountains a little bit, more towards Arizona. So, uh, but it might hit LA, guys. And I'm not far from LA. I'm really, I'm not, I'm like less than two hours away, guys. Tropical systems. Right now, it's expected to first approach Mexico's Baja California Peninsula on Saturday night, probably reaching Southern California on Sunday. Yeah, I live in Southern California, so this is not the best for me, guys. You know what I mean? Not the best for big fan of. It has a tropical storm. Now, the National Weather Service says last time that happened in Southern California was in 1939. Thanks for joining us for your five news at five. I'm Darren Bob. Matt's here to talk about the track of this thing. It's going to run into some drier air and a lot cooler water as well. Yeah, hurricanes love to be in warm bath water. That's why. As I've never seen their like desktop computer visible in any like a uh, newscast ever, bro. That's a first for me. So you actually see all their icons. Is that steam? <laughs> it looks like there's steam there, man. I don't know. I can't really see that much. You talk about hurricanes in the Gulf Coast and the Atlantic Coast. We don't hear about them very much in California. Why well, was too cold? But this one's going to try to plow through it as much as possible. <laughs> it's going to weaken. I want to show you some of the latest details with Hurricane Hillary. 130 mile per hour winds there on the southwest coast of Mexico. Uh, it's probably going to stay a category four here for the next several hours. But tomorrow, down. Damn, bro, that looks like a whole freaking hurricane. Not going to lie, 120. Great into a now they say it might hit like 80 miles per hour when it hits a USA category three eventually category two one and then before it gets to Southern California it's likely to be a tropical storm mainly two reasons why you've got the cooler waters I've got the surface temperatures mapped out here the red show you temperatures where we're at least at 80 degrees you need at least 80 degree water to sustain a hurricane once you get into the thing I didn't know hurricanes were that warm water guys it's like jacuzzi water right guys the 70s so these oranges you start weakening it. Once you get to the yellows, guys, we're back down to the 60s. The water is very cold outside of LA. If you've been to the beach there, Huntington Beach or Venice Beach, it's chilly. It's nothing like headed to Gulf Shores, that's for sure. But the thing, chilly weather? Yeah, it is, guys. The storm will continue to weaken on its northerly path, but it's very rare to even have a track going towards California and Nevada. So coming up, we'll talk a little bit more on the timing of oh, snap straight up. It's gonna hit where I live, guys. 50 miles per hour. I think I live like around the, here, guys. Like, legit. I'm, I'm gonna hit, get hit by the hurricane. When it's likely to reach LA, but then we're gonna also talk. Guys, this is a. It's been so long since we ever. I, I didn't think we would ever get a hurricane, guys, but we did. Talk about we are getting one, apparently. Our rain chances. Will we be able to pull some of this moisture? I thought that was only like an East Coast thing, bro. Moisture? But legit, 50 miles per hour. Here at home? We'll talk about that here in a bit. My team is closely monitoring Hurricane Hillary, which is has the potential to bring significant rain and flooding to Southern California. Yeah, bro, raining again in Cali, bro. It's been raining like the past, like earlier this week. FEMA has prepositioned personnel and supplies in the region, and they're ready to respond as needed. I urge everyone, everyone in the path of this storm to take precautions and listen to the guidance state and local officials president talking about the hurricane it's expected to make landfall as matt said off mexico's pacific coast and track to southern california where storms like this are very rare so rare it's the first time the u.s national hurricane center has issued a tropical storm watch in southern california bradley ever like ever is tropical storm watch oh my gosh hey, it's better than a hurricane because i'm not trying to get displaced bro I don't even make money currently that much, and I don't want to deal with like a hurricane, bro, when I'm pretty poor IRL.
Halblieb with our CBS affiliate in San Diego has been on the ground there now checking in with emergency managers. He has this look at how they're using what they learned from this past winter's atmospheric rivers to get ready for whatever Hurricane Hillary brings to Southern California. Crews at Southern California beaches are bracing for impact as Hurricane Hillary heads north, bringing heavy rain, strong winds, and high surf. We are getting I don't know why they're moving the rocks over there. Right now, ahead of this event, as it makes landfall, to make sure that we are prepared to keep Californians safe. Here in Sacramento. Dang, bro. Better than like a, a, a really strong earthquake hitting us, though, right, guys? Way better than that. Cal OES is working closely with Southern California agencies to determine what resources to deploy and where. But before they can do that, they're tracking the storm and waiting to see where it lands. Throughout the next few days, over the weekend, we will adjust our responses accordingly. Local emergencies are the first line of defense, but in case the weather takes a turn for the worst, Cal OES says they're prepared to send personnel for search and rescue, swift water rescue. Search and rescue? Oh, snap, man. Dang it. I'd be scared if you're homeless, guys. Hopefully, you know, they let it, it, guys. I was homeless before. We just watched our video about uh, homelessness. If, if I was, hopefully, you know, they let it, once it hits, like they let the homeless population like chill inside somewhere, bro. Like, it's gonna be all bad. Rescued. 50 miles per hour. That's quite. That's quite heavy, man. It, everything's gonna be flying around, right, guys? Teams fire engines, and bulldozers and tractors. We're not sure what is going to happen. We're taking proactive steps now to be prepared. Meanwhile, the U.S. Coast Guard is bolstering resources from across the state and... So it's a for sure thing now, wow. ...ready to respond by the sea and air. Debris flow from burn scars are a concern, so along with ocean rescues, they'll be keeping a close eye on inland waterways and channels, which is why staying up to date on emergency alerts and avoiding... Like straight up tacking L.A., bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, what are we gonna do, man? You know how much homeless population is in L.A.? A rescue is critical. During a time like this, um, our search... This, I only learned about this Thursday. And ...rescue capabilities will degrade as the storm worsens. Although hurricanes are not the norm for California, lessons were definitely learned following a wet winter that brought several atmospheric rivers... And ...that can be uh, transferred to other... Pretty much, yeah. ...types of events, such as... Initially snowed, uh, like it used to never snow in California, but now uh, this summer wasn't that, I mean it broke records, but it wasn't like, it didn't feel as hot as last summer, guys, even though it, it probably was, it just didn't feel that, uh, maybe it's because I wasn't that um outside that much. What potentially could be a hurricane making landfall in California. We'll of course continue tracking updates on Hillary's track. Hurricane Hillary, guys. Well, I am prepared. This weekend, the weather team will keep you up to date with the latest on our free 5 News smartphone app. Weatherman explained that better than I've seen a weatherman person explain a storm. What a guy needs a raise. And since 2020, everything is unprecedented. That's when, like, COVID hit, right, guys? By the time it reaches LA, it'll turn to a tropical storm. This is just very rare, unprecedented. Lord knows what they have planned for us. God bless. Tax brew. Scary things, guys. I'm I'm ready for it, guys. I mean, I don't know. That's all we gotta do. It's not like, it'll take a while for us to escape from it, bro. It's gonna go, like, through states within days, bro. Uh, yeah, guys. I might film, like, the wind and stuff if, um... If it, like, you know, if it's super bad where I live, guys, I, I don't know, guys. Never, didn't expect this. Like, comment, subscribe, check out Five News in the description. See you guys next video. Uh, I do my homework reactions on Twitch. Like, uh, you know, come through, say hey. Later, guys.